Hey guys, this is Tuttles with Easy Life, and today I'm gonna review Evan Williams Bottle and Bond. Now, before we begin, I do want to address that I have been away for a while. You might be wondering what happened to Tuttles. Why is he not reviewing bourbon? Why is he not reviewing scotch whiskey? Why is he not giving us any sort of material to work with in these trying times? And I was away because of these trying times. For the past nine months, I have been in quarantine because as a super taster, I could actually taste what was happening in our environment and in our air. And I knew a pandemic was coming so I went to the mountains and I hid in my great great greatest of great grandfather's old cabin where he used to slaughter bears and I stayed there and I slaughtered and ate bears and that's what I was doing for a while but I actually came back to be with my wife because I'm married now and she was gonna divorce me because of the the bare flesh breath but I'm very happy to be back so Thanks for having me. Anyway, let's get into the tasting. So as you guys probably know, Evan Williams usually tastes like It tastes like However, some of my friends in my whiskey group said that the bottled in bond actually tastes kind of good. So I'm going to give it a try. What makes this one special is that it is bottled in bond. And as you guys might not know, bottled in bond means it was bottled in a bond film. That's right. They bottled this little puppy during the filming of one of the James Bond movies. And I do believe that this particular bottle is from Golden Skyfall. Evan Williams is historically recognized as Kentucky's first distiller of bourbon. This special bottled in bond bourbon is a genuine sour mash that honors its pioneering heritage. Bottled in bond status is earned only by meeting strict government standards. The standards of being bottled in a bond film. Let's open this little puppy up and see what happens. It isn't easy to open. Oh, that's not a cork. Oh no. So you're normally going to want to immediately sniff that cork. However, I forgot that Evan Williams is a bunch of bull So there's actually no cork, it's a screw off here. And maybe that's very white to you. And I'm sorry if that offends you, but you know, it is what it is. Let's go ahead and pour it into our mug and then we can give it a sniff. Now, as you guys probably know, if you've seen my other whiskey reviews, the reason you wanna drink your bourbon from a mug is if you drink your bourbon from a clear vessel, a clear glass, then your family and friends will come out of the woodwork and try to drink your bourbon. You don't want them to see what is happening. Let's get into the news. A flower that can sing but doesn't like to. Candied toothpaste. Ugh. Fornicating with your best friend's mother. Right off the bat, this is smelling a bit sweet for me and I am a bit offended by the fact that someone is sleeping with their best friend's mother. Let's get into the taste and see if there's more to that story, but unless there is a consensual relationship there and no one is being hurt, I'm going to probably decline. Oh, uh, liquid garbage. A chimney sweep who has been burned to death. I'm afraid to go in for more. Okay, so I'm getting with the story here. And as I suspected, this is not a happy consensual thing going on. So this young boy 
Bless his heart has a friend who is actually 15 years older than him. That's his best friend. And while they used to play all sorts of fun games together, they used to play train. They used to run around the neighborhood with their shirts off and they used to get sunburned because then they could put the white hands on the skin after. It was very innocent and it was very good for their relationship. And it was good for the boy's development as he did not have a traditional father figure in the home. However, his best friend became very fond of his mother and he liked to look at his mother and he liked to fantasize about his mother and eventually he built up the courage to make a move on his mother and she actually was very lonely and she was also feeling very feisty the day that he came on to her. She had drunk some mint juleps and she was flustered. She was Twitter pated because of spring even. And I would say that this was him taking advantage of that and I do not approve. Mm. Ah. So it's actually tasting a tiny bit better here with a little bit of sweetness because as this young boy's best friend was making violent love to his mother upstairs. He could hear it and he instantly felt betrayed. But for comfort, he went to his windowsill where he keeps daffodils. And one particular daffodil stood out to him. And unbeknownst to him, this daffodil would sing in the night when he was sleeping. But it was shy to sing during the day or to sing to him. But when it saw his pain and sorrow, it actually began to sing him a song. And it sounded like this. It was a very sweet gesture by the flower. However, it sounded really bad and it actually made the boy more upset. Oh, yeah, it's not good. So that's sort of where the story ends in betrayal. And I do feel betrayed by those of my friends in the whiskey group who said that this tasted good. It tastes really bad and I do not like it. This is probably the worst bourbon I have reviewed. Yeah, I'm going to have to go ahead and give Evan Williams Bottled in Bond Bourbon a two out of 10. Yes, it was very, very bad, but I'm sure there could be worse. And at least they did give it a hundred proof. So they did prove it was bourbon 100 times. So we don't have to guess that it's not bourbon at this point. And I do give them props for bottling it in a Bond film, which traditionally should bring some mystery. It should bring a little pizzazz, but it didn't work for this one. Shame on you and shame on you if you like this because it is awful. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you're being safe and I hope that you're being wonderful wherever you are. Um, I'm in quarantine right now and that's unfortunate, but I do have my bourbons and they keep me warm and they might keep me safe. Anyway, I'll, I'll see you guys. See you next time. Bye-bye.